Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen and this is my channel. Today I'm going to do the question and answer video that I promised you guys. It is just going to be in a few parts because between Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and here on YouTube, I got all these questions. All of these questions. I honestly did not expect so many questions. I'm glad you guys are interested and I am more than willing to answer them for you, but it is going to take a few videos because if I did these all in one video, it would be probably an hour long and nobody wants to sit through that. So this is part one and I will start with, I'm going to start with Instagram questions and then we'll move on from there. But before I do get into the questions, I have a few things I want to remind you guys of first. First of all, you need to go check out Amy's life journey and I will leave her the link to her channel in the description below. She is the one that makes all the beautiful merch. She can customize anything you want customized as well as she is on her own weight loss journey and she does daily vlogs. So if you want to go check her out, I will leave a description for her channel in the I will leave a link for her channel in the description below. That's it. And then also Remember that there is a code, a referral code for Ipsy in the description below if you want to sign up to subscribe to Ipsy. This month's Ipsy bag is this cute lipstick lip print bag and I got a bunch of goodies in my bag. If you didn't watch that video, I will link that video in the description below as well. And there is a referral code. If you use my referral code, you'll get some extra bonus points to redeem for some free products along with your subscription, as well as I will get some points as well. Also remember that I have a referral code for Walmart, the grocery curbside pickup service. If you use the code, you will get $10 off of your first order. I will get $10 off of my order as well. So try that, it's such a convenient service. You just place your order online, Tell them when you want to come pick it up. They'll let you know when it's ready. You pull in. You don't even have to get out of your car. They load your car for you. And then you drive away. Easy as that. So it's a really convenient service. So like I said, if you use that code, you'll get $10 off of your order. And I think that's all the business I got to tell you about. So let's get into the questions, shall we? And like I said, I'm going to start with Instagram. There was... Over 40 questions on Instagram, so I thought I would, I think there was probably more on Facebook or on YouTube as well, but we'll just start with um, Instagram and we'll move on for there. I think I have probably 10 or 12 questions we'll do in this video and then we'll move on to part two another day. It will, I'll release them within a week so we don't get forget what we're doing, but They'll be in two or three parts. So the first question from Instagram comes from H Woods 9583 and H Woods asks, when was your last binge? Okay, so I haven't talked about this yet and I will be talking about this in my Sunday video, my Sunday wrap up video. My last binge was on Thursday, on Valentine's Day. I did talk about earlier when I had that little mini binge, when I ate the wrong things on Wednesday, um, it a lot of people didn't consider it a binge. I considered it an emotional binge because I ate that food because I was not hungry. I was triggered emotionally and I used food for comfort instead of using other tools and ways of dealing with my emotions, I used food. Um, so then Thursday, that just spilled over into Thursday, I was still feeling lousy about myself. I tried really hard to hold on. I did not do what I needed to do and I did binge on Thursday. It was a full out binge. Um, I'll talk more about that in another video, my Sunday update video, which will be posted tomorrow on Sunday. So if you want to hear about that, I will talk about it in that video. So the next question, and I hope I say these names right because some of these names are very hard to pronounce, at least for me. I'm sure to you they sound pretty normal, but to me they're a little difficult. The next one comes from Shanik Abby Soria. 
I'm sorry if that's not right. I'm probably sure that's not right, but that's as close as I could get. Um, and Shanik wants to know, apart from your diet, do you work out to lose weight? If so, what is your routine like? Well, admittedly, I don't exercise like I should. I should be doing a lot more, and I need to work on that. Honestly, I need to work on that, and I've been thinking that I need to work on that. I've been talking to a friend about getting movement in and maybe being like a support being accountable for physical movement and exercise with my friend. So that's something I need to work on. I don't exercise daily. As I said, I need to. I do work with a physical therapist twice a week for mobility purposes to help build my endurance. And I do have exercises that the physical therapist gave me to do like leg lifts and I'm not sure of the names of them, but they're physical therapy exercises for strengthening your legs. And I'm supposed to be doing those daily, and I'm not doing them daily. I do do them the twice a week when they're here, and probably a couple other times during the week, but not every day. I also do walk. Um, I should be walking every day in the hall, but I'm not, admittedly. I do walk around my apartment, and I know that's not exercise, but I am working on endurance, so a little bit I do needs improved a lot. All right, the next question is from Jack Attack 007007, and Jack wants to know, how do you feel about going from 4,000 to 19,000 subscribers so quickly? Has it changed your content? I am completely blown away. I never expected to have 19,000 subscribers, let alone 4,000. When I very first started uploading videos again, I started, I came back again in June. As probably a lot of you have heard me say before, I began uploading videos about seven or eight years ago for about a year, and I didn't do it consistently, but I did it off and on. And, um, when I was on my weight loss journey and then I lost all that weight and I got busy with kind of real life, went back to school, just fell away from it. Of course, that was probably one of my biggest mistakes why I gained it all back. Um, so I hadn't uploaded videos in probably six years, five, six years. And then in June, I'm not really sure what struck me. I do know there are several people that I've subscribed to and I kept thinking, boy, they're uploading videos. I kind of want to do that again, too. And so I made a video and I uploaded it. And after I uploaded the first one, I had about 500 subscribers who stuck with me from years ago. And so I started out with just under 500 subscribers in June. And I kept thinking, wonder if I'll ever get to 1,000 wonder if I'll ever get to 2,000. And then once I did get to 1,000, it seemed like it started increasing steadily from there. So I went from about a thousand, I, I can't remember exactly when I hit 1,000. I think it took me from June until September, I would like to say, to get to 1,000 subscribers. And then after September, it just started snowballing pretty quickly from there. I don't know if other people consider going from 1,000 to 19,000 in from September to February a lot, but I consider that a lot. I am very shocked, blown away. I never expected it. I don't know why people like watching me. Um, I think I'm boring. I know some other people have commented that I'm boring. Um, I agree with you, I am quite boring, but I'm me. I know a lot of people have said that they can relate to me and my struggles and my journey, so I hope that whatever they're able to take away from my videos, that they enjoy them. As far as my content, I don't think my content has changed any more or any less or any differently. I was uploading daily in June, June and July, I updated daily. August I did not because I got sick and was in the hospital and it took me a while to recover from that. It wasn't a serious illness. Um, I had a kidney infection, but I just didn't feel really well and I it took me a while to start uploading again. So I took probably about over a month off 
from uploading at least regularly and then I started again probably in late September uploading regularly and I don't really have a set on when I upload or how much I upload it's just whenever I find something that I want to talk about usually I can find a lot to talk about and that turns out to be almost a daily upload but sometimes there won't be a daily upload and I don't have any set times that I want to upload just whenever I feel like it mostly so thank you for that question thank you for the other questions as well so the next question comes from Keely Roberts and Keely asks apart from weight loss what are your goals for the future so I have three top goals that I want to accomplish within the next three years maybe, maybe the three year plan. Um, so my first goal is to go back to school and to finish my degree and that is in human services and that is one of my top goals. My other goal is to move out of my apartment that I'm currently in. I'm not completely unhappy with where I am but I am not the happiest that I could be and I don't feel this is where I should be I feel that there is somewhere else out there that I need to be now where that other place is I'm not sure yet but we'll see down the road I need to save some money before I can be able to do that and thankfully with my income from YouTube I will be able to start saving some money and to be able to do that as well um, and my last one is to take a class in Reiki and Reiki if you're not familiar with that is energy healing and I believe fully in that I've been studying on it for a very long time but you actually have to attend a class to become a certified Reiki master and there are like an advanced course and a regular course so that will be something that I want to look into as well. After I get some other things in my life taken care of, that does not, these three things don't include my health and getting my health cleared up. Um, this is more of like other life goals aside from weight loss and health. So of course at the top of my list is always to be cancer free, to lose weight, more mobile. Those are always at the top of my list as well. My, the next question is from It's Fat Girl Eden, and Eden asks, what is your favorite brand of coffee and tea? All right, so my favorite, I have a tea bag here, actually. My favorite brand of tea, I'm not very experienced in the tea world until a couple sweet subscribers sent me some different teas. I've never really had any teas outside of Lipton and like store brand teas and regular teas. But I am pretty much in love with this Twinnings green tea. The, this one is the pomegranate, raspberry, and strawberry. I've also had a mixed berry flavor of the Twinnings, but Twinnings is a, one of my favorite teas that I've tried so far. I haven't tried that many, but that is one of my very favorites. As far as coffee, this is kind of funny. I really don't have a favorite kind of coffee because I'm not a huge coffee fan. I like creamer. So the only reason I drink coffee is to drink the creamer, basically, which is very unhealthy, I know. Um, so the coffee brand really doesn't matter. Although, the Christmas before last, I had some Starbucks. It was peppermint mocha flavored coffee. It wasn't a creamer, it was the actual coffee. And that was really good. But as far as just regular coffee, coffee doesn't matter it's the creamer and for creamer my favorite creamer is International Delights caramel macchiato and I even like the sugar-free in that kind as well so usually a sugar-free creamers don't taste really good to me but that is one sugar-free creamer that I do like all right the next question is from T Cron 2 I'm thinking that's how you say their name and they ask what is a book you'd recommend for spirituality or just growing as a person? All right, I made a list of my favorite books, and these are in no particular order except for the first one. Um, the first book I would recommend 
and this is probably going to be a touchy subject for some people, but the first book I would definitely recommend for anyone is the Bible. I have not read the Bible cover to cover. I am not a good Christian um, in that area, but I do believe that there are passages out of the Bible and things in the Bible that are very helpful and go a long way with the teachings of life and how you should live your life. So that is definitely one of my top, the top book that I would recommend to anybody on a spiritual path. Okay, now the other books that I would recommend are, these are in no particular order, and this first book is a novel, so it's not an actual self-help or kind of book, but it is a book that really opened my eyes and taught me a lot, is The Alchemist by Paulo, I am not really sure how to say his last name, Kalo, Kilo, Kalo, I'm not quite sure how to say it. Um, but that is a book that I learned a lot from, and there's a lot to be taken from the story in that book. Another book that I would highly recommend is, yes, I have a cheat sheet, as always, um, How to Heal Your Life by Louise Hayes. That is another really good book. Um, another one is The Wheels of Life by Anadea Judith. She is an amazing author and there's a lot of books by her that are really good. The Wheels of Life is about your chakra system and how your chakras line up and bring you health, spiritual and emotional and physical health. So that is another good book as well. And the last book is The Journey of Souls by Michael Newton. That is an amazing book as well and very very teaching and there's a lot to be learned from that. As all of those are very helpful in learning about your spirit and about your soul and about how consciousness survives even after your body cease, ceases to be living and how we are all made up of energy and the consciousness after this realm, how there are other realms that our consciousness survives in. And when you learn about all that together, it's very eye-opening. And once your eyes have been opened, you learn to live your life a lot differently and how you look at life a lot differently. So those are all books that I would highly recommend to anyone wanting to find some books about spirituality and about life in general. All right, the next question is from Andy Keeley YT, and Andy asks, do you use a wheelchair and what kind of car do you drive? Yes, I use a wheelchair, and that is for long distance purposes. I don't use it for around my apartment or um, walking short distances. That's why I'm working with a physical therapist to help with my endurance so I can ditch the wheelchair completely. I cannot wait until that happens. Um, one of the biggest mistakes I ever made was becoming reliant on a wheelchair. If I could go back in time, I would not have done it. I've been using it for about four years, maybe five years. And like I said, that is one of the biggest mistakes I ever made. What kind of car do I drive? I do not currently have a car. Um, my cousin is completely sure that I need to start saving money to buy a car so I can start driving. But um, honestly, I'm afraid of driving. I am afraid of having a wreck, hurting myself, hurting other people. So it would not hurt my feelings if I never drove. Um, but probably logically, I will need a car at some point in my life in the future. So that's probably in the future somewhere. Jennifer, and I love that how she spelled her name. She asks, do you have a boyfriend? And that is a little bit of a complicated question. Um, I feel weird at 43 saying I have a boyfriend. Um, I do have someone that I am in a relationship with, a committed relationship with. I am very much in love with him and he is my soulmate and my best friend and we've had our ups and downs as a lot of people have pointed out here on YouTube because I've shared too much about a relationship. Um, we both struggle with addiction, and I'm not going to go too much into his issues or his problems because we're just here to talk about my issues and my problems. But um, I will say that he loves me very much, 
and we are on the same page as we both want to be in each other's lives for the rest of our lives. So whatever happens with that, and as before someone else points out, yes, it is an online long distance relationship. We have not met in person yet, but I feel that that, that, that does not mean that I don't know him. I know him completely. I know his heart. I know everything about him. And I don't expect other people to understand that because they're not me or they're not him. So long story short, short story long, yes, I guess you could say I do have a boyfriend. I am in a relationship. The next question comes from Serps Girl. Like I said, I hope that's the way you say it. And Serps Girl wants to know, do you go to any kind of therapy? And yes, I do. I just started therapy, psychotherapy. Um, my first appointment was on Thursday, and my next appointment will be next Thursday. I don't know if they'll continue to be weekly. I probably have a lot of issues I need to work out weekly for a while, and I'll just see what the therapist recommends after that, but for now, it is going to be weekly. And I also attend Overeaters Anonymous meetings. I do consider those some types of therapy. I know it's not one-on-one -on -one therapy, but it's kind of like a group therapy to me. So I do attend those. I attended one on Friday, and I attended one this morning, which is Saturday. So those are helping a lot as well, I feel. And it is good support as well. So the next question is from Shrinking Charlotte. And Charlotte asks, what non-scale victory are you most looking forward to? I wrote down the top three that I'm most looking forward to. The first one is, like I mentioned, ditching this wheelchair for good. And the second one is going to the beach. I've never been to the beach and I cannot wait to go to the beach. And the third is buying a specific outfit that I've wanted to buy for a very long time that does not come in my size currently. So that is my other non-scale victory that I'm very much looking forward to. All right, the next question is from Karen McGrantle. And Karen asks, do you live in a regular apartment or state run? I'm not sure what a state run apartment is. If you're asking if it's government subsidized, it is a government, it is government housing, section eight. Um, it's not the best of places that I wanna be, but it's certainly not the worst place. It's safe, it's, clean and I'm in the best part of town one of the best neighborhoods in town um, so it's not my apartment is very nice and my apartment tour will be coming soon I need to do a few little things in my apartment to decorate it a little bit better and then I will definitely be giving an apartment tour but yes it is section 8 but it's not state-run it's government subsidized housing um, I don't know if that's what you meant, if that was if that's the same thing, but it is. All right, the next question comes from Just Lose It Lisa, and Lisa asks, what is the little black dot by your eye? And a lot of people have asked me that question, and it is a beauty mark, and it is something, it started, I'm not quite sure which era exactly it started, but it was from the 1920s, the 30s era, and it was very popular back in that time. The women would put beauty marks usually by their eyes or their mouth to emphasize their what they thought was their best asset of their face, and it supposedly draws attention to that part of your face. Um, I happen to think my eyes are my best feature of my face, so I've always put it by my eye. I was obsessed with it in high school. Most of my junior and senior year, I had my little beauty mark by my eye, and then I kind of stopped doing it for whatever reason. Um, I've done it on and off through the years, but I've just started liking it again. Um, there's no real meaning to it, it's just eyeliner, and I have tried it on this side. I don't necessarily like it on this side. I like it on this side, and someday I would like to get it tattooed there, or a little black heart there, because I like it so much. Um, so it's just something that I do, something silly. Some days it won't even be there if I'm too lazy to put it there. And yes, I said lazy. It's really absolutely no work. It's just if I just don't do it. But I do like it. 
But that is a good question because a lot of people have been asking me what it is. And a lot of people said they tried to like smudge it off their screen. And I think that's funny because I've done the same thing thinking, what is, all, what's, what is that? And I've just been like, oh, that's right. It's on my face. <laughs> so, okay. The next question comes from Keto Mama. And Keto Mama asks, do you have Snapchat? I actually do have Snapchat, but I don't know what my name is on Snapchat, and I don't know how to use Snapchat. I don't know how to send snaps. I just know how to open the app and use the filters to take a picture and then save the pictures to my camera roll. I'm old. I don't know those things. I've recently found the app called TikTok, and I'm quite obsessed with TikTok at the moment. Um, I've done quite a few TikTok videos and posted them on Facebook. Um, my account on TikTok is private, so I'm not like sharing videos on TikTok, but I do enjoy watching other people's videos. They're hilarious. And I do have to say, there are some really hot guys on TikTok. Really hot ones. So that is um, an app that I enjoy, but you didn't ask about that app, but I just told you about that app because I ramble. But to answer the question, I do have Snapchat. So <laughs> Snapchat, not Snapchat. Snapchat. I do have Snapchat. I will try to find my, what my username is, and maybe somebody can tell me how to use it, or I can figure it out. But if I do find out, well, I can find out my name. But I, when I find out my name, I will leave it in the description below so you can, I don't know, send me a friend request or whatever you do on Snapchat. I, I like I said, I don't know how that works. Stop rambling, Jennifer. Move on to the next question. So the next question is from Nicole Pedro Pedrogo Miranda. I hope I said your name right. I'm sorry if I didn't. And Nicole wants to know what state I live in. I live in West Virginia, and I live in the part of West Virginia that's kind of stuck between Ohio and Pennsylvania. I'm literally on the border of both states. I am also literally across the river from Ohio. Um, the Ohio River is just right across the street from my building. Um, I live about a, an hour south of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and it's a small town, not really much here, probably why I want, don't want to be here. Um, we're very in back of the times, um, very economically challenged here, there's not a lot of growth as far as the economy it's struggling right now um just not a lot of opportunities here so I, that's one reason why when i do get better when i do lose weight i do want to eventually move out of the state to somewhere where i have more opportunities in life um so the last question is from one of my very favorite youtubers and I will leave the link for his channel in the description below too because I so enjoy him and his partner. And they are, well, yeah, there's two of them, Smokey, Steve, and Mark. And it was just Steve that I started watching and then his partner started doing videos with him and I love Mark. He has the best personality. Not that Steve doesn't, I adore Steve as well. But I'm really glad that Mark has started doing videos with him because he has such a fun personality as well and they do videos together. They did a Valentine's Day video together that it was so funny and they had the funny, um, I have knew them from the 80s. A lot of people won't remember the 80s but they had the sunglasses from the 80s that were really cool and they were all festive for Valentine's Day so it was that was a fun video. Like I said, I will link their video or their channel in the description below so you can check them out. Sorry about that. Um, and more, this is a question from Mark, and Mark asks, or he says, you said that you were interested in spirituality. Do you identify with any religion, Christian, Wiccan, Seeker, etc.? Okay, so this is going to probably be very controversial to some people, and I am just going to state my beliefs and my views. I am not open to debating them. I will certainly speak about them if anybody wants to learn about what I believe, but as far as changing my mind and what I believe, I am not open to 
somebody preaching at me about how wrong my beliefs are and my beliefs are my own and I have not just jumped into my beliefs overnight. I have come into my beliefs over a period of time, a long period of time. And yeah. So let me start off by saying I was born into a Presbyterian family. And if anybody knows anything about the Presbyterian faith, they're a very conservative, very, you basically go to church, you sit in the pew, and you don't move, you don't ask questions, and you just listen to the preacher, the minister, whatever you call him. Um, you listen to him, you don't ask questions, you just follow what he says, and then you sing a bunch of hymns. Now, not that there's anything wrong with hymns. Uh, there are some very beautiful hymns. But I find that very cold. I never felt like I could approach a pastor or a minister that I had and I'm not saying that that is the way it is in all Presbyterian churches. My Presbyterian church that I grew up in, that's how I felt. Um, I very, felt very disconnected from the church. I didn't never felt a connection to that church. So after I became an adult and I started seeking God and wanting to know more about God and faith and spirituality and religion, the next church that I found or the next religious group that I found was a Baptist church. And that was through an online and a TV show pastor and his name is Charles Stanley with In Touch Ministries. And I resonated very well with his messages. He was He's an amazing pastor. I still listen to him and watch him. I listen to his podcasts all the time. And I can really resonate with his messages too. Um, and then for a long time, I kind of fell away from any kind of organized religion. And I just didn't feel that I'm Christian and I completely believe in God. I believe in Jesus. So after that, I kind of fell away from religion or God for a very long time. I became angry, angry because of my situation in life, my own fault because I did not seek God. I believe and I turned away from where he was leading me or what he wanted in my life and I was doing it on my own and that just does not work so for a long time I didn't pray I didn't believe in anything well it's not that I didn't believe but I didn't acknowledge I've always believed I just didn't acknowledge or speak of God or pray or anything like that and then recently as f recent as like four years ago I started becoming enlightened about empaths and spirituality and about what happens to our soul, about how our soul is connected to our body, about what happens after death. And I have been opened to a whole new world of beliefs. I still strongly believe in God. A couple people have accused me of being a witch or being Wiccan. I don't think that that's a bad thing at all. There are several things in the Wiccan beliefs that I believe. A lot of people misunderstand Wicca and think it's a bad thing and it's satanic and it's really not. Wicca and paganism has absolutely nothing to do with Satan. I think that um, I believe that it is earth-based and they believe in many gods and many goddesses and they believe in healing from the earth and healing from nature and I there are many aspects of that that I believe in as well I wouldn't consider myself a Wiccan I've never been to any kind of a Wiccan group or anything like that I do have quite a bit of I have a few Wiccan books I have different things that are Wiccan like I said I take a lot from that um, but I just believe in spirituality I believe in God first and foremost before anything else and I do believe in the Bible I do read the Bible there are bits and pieces that I take from the Bible um, but I believe in a lot more than that I believe in tarot card reading I believe in crystal healing I believe in Reiki I believe in mediums I believe in life after death I believe that our soul never dies I believe that 
we are made up of energy and that energy just shifts to a different realm after our body ceases to live and I believe there's a lot of things I believe that I don't know how much to go into I guess I guess you would say that I'm a seeker I guess that's how you could label me I'm I call myself spiritual I don't consider myself religious I consider myself spiritual like I said I believe in God fully and I know a lot of people could challenge that and say how can you believe in God and believe in all these different things it works for me I know what I believe and I, I'm very secure in what I believe so I hope that answers your question if there's anybody who wants me to go further into detail about that I'd be happy to but try to keep this question as short as possible that's what I believe in so there you go that is kind of the history of my religious and spiritual backgrounds all right that wraps up the part one of our questions for this video you can watch for part two coming later this week so thank you guys for the questions and stay tuned for more bye